Hi folks, uh, my first attempt at videoing a paint pour. So I'm gonna focus in down here now. Um, if I did everything right, okay, yeah, you can see that there are red marks. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna do a starburst uh, swipe. I wish I had, oh, I do, look. Um, so this, but on a square canvas. Um, and I'm using um, mostly blues today, Bahama blue, desert turquoise, Neptune blue, uh, a color shift plum flesh, and uh, berry blue. I use mostly deco art and uh, Nicole Studio, some folk art. Uh, and my swipe color is Jamaican Coast, and that's what I'll also do the base. Um, with all of this, I'm trying a new pouring medium. Usually I use Floetrol uh, and plus uh, some water. Uh, now I'm trying an Elmer's glue and water. So 60% Elmer's glue, 40% water. I'm not very scientific about these things. Um, so it's just eyeballing it, uh, but it's supposed to create great cells. And to do cells, I'm also gonna use silicone, um, just a drop or two in each of my underneath colors and give them a little swirl. Swoosh, 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 swoosh. Okay. So, taking the Neptune Coast, we are going to uh, just get this on the canvas. I'm not quite sure this is going to be enough, but we shall see. Uh, And you always want to get a base coat if you're using an additive, a silicone or an oil, because uh, that will adhere to the canvas right away, the additive, if you don't have a base coat. So I'm just using my little uh, popsicle stick stir to smooth this around. I am going to be swiping some color, which will take it to the edge, but I do want to get up and over the edge. Uh, sometimes it's best just to, you know, finger paint. You want to get the entire canvas covered, uh, including over the side, so that, um, again, any oil that hits it is hitting paint and not canvas, and it just flows. Paint will flow much better. Ooh, somehow I got some orange in there. That'll be exciting. Okay, so... This perfect. Thought it wasn't going to be enough. It's just perfect. Um, you'll see that I just I should have an apron or something, but I don't. Um, I have my shorts, and that does it. I'm just going to kind of smooth some of this paint out. I see some bubbles, so I'm also going to torch. Uh, torching will help get rid of bubbles, generally. Yeah, that's good. Very good. I had an exact spot for that. It's a bit flat, but... Oh, 
all be gone. Okay, so now I know I want to leave a little spot in the center, but I'm just going to do a little circle here. I'm just uh, hit painting. Uh, I'm gonna get all this stuff out. Really doesn't matter. The uh, just wanna fill up the canvas with color. I'm gonna swipe. From the center out. So I just wanna make sure that I leave a ring there. Okay, so now I have some uh, of my base coat here that has a little extra water in. It's a little lighter. I uh, pour that right here in the middle again. right on top and just take this get that center pull it straight on down Don't want to do too many side uh, swipes with one side. Think a little more. This card starts to bend after too many swipes. I'm just gently pulling along. Nothing, uh, not too much pressure. If you can see or not, I'm really messy, really messy doing this.
Hmm. Okay. So. We're going to do some things here. Just taking my comb. I forgot you're all there, uh, or will be there. Uh, taking my comb, brushing it in. Creating some inward strokes. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Be careful not to overheat your canvas. And as I said, this is new material for me. Uh, I don't use glue and water. Looks like I might have made the canvas a little not happy. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I'm just going to let it there, and let it there, we're going to put a little, uh, little bit of this guy right on top. Uh, I'm going to blow that out a little bit. So this is good sign that I'm going to leave it alone. It's one of the big lessons in this. Uh, I love doing it because it's like you go in with an intention. This was sort of not my intention. I wasn't going to do the inward things, uh, but you let go and you let it sort of flow. <laughs> Um, and then there's a point where like you can play with it too much, like, uh, 
I've been thinking about this a lot with language and how we can mold and shape language, but it's like clay as well. You can mold and shape it, and then at some point it just falls apart. So, like at some point, you need to know when to walk away, when to hold them, when to hold them, you know when to run. Um, you only get that uh, reference if you're of a certain age. Um, yeah, there's lots of neat little things. Um, I might be able to bring you in closer to try to look at it. Hi, everybody. This is my paint room. Lots of stuff. Paintings on the walls, things. Okay. So we're using my laptop, so I'm doing the best I can here. That's what we've got. Now, of course, this will sit with time. Um, and change colors and things, but, um, thanks for watching. Oops. There we go. Hi. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to edit this down so you might not even see this part. Uh, really appreciate you being here. And hope you learned something. Bye.